Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. I'm Nefhack and today I want to show you how to recover files that you have deleted by accident. Imagine yourself working on a very important project and you accidentally deleted the Word documents and spreadsheets you've been working on for the past few days. Or perhaps you deleted family pictures and videos that you love so much. Well, don't worry, I have the perfect solution for you. There is a way to recover all these files and many more by using a program called Recover It by Wondershare, which by the way, they also sponsored this video. With that being said, let me show you how this program works step by step. It's very simple. All right, let's say that you have a couple of videos and pictures that are very important to you and you delete them by accident. I'm gonna replicate a similar scenario. I have here two video files and an image. This one is a gameplay clip. And here is a photo. And this one is my intro logo. All right, so let's say that I save them in a USB flash drive, for example. I mean, it doesn't really matter where they're located. Can be a hard drive, SD card, camera, pretty much any kind of storage you can think of. And let's say I accidentally delete all of them. So, first we need to download the Recoverit software for free, which is available for Windows and Mac OS. Just go to Google and type Recoverit Wondershare. And click on the first or second link at the top of the screen. Or just use the link I provided in the description box below. And download the free trial version. Open it and install it in your desired location. Once it's finished, open the program. When you get to this part, you need to look for the storage where you deleted your files from. So I'm going to select NEF USB, which is my USB flash drive. After that, click on start and the program is going to start scanning for any type of files located in that drive. And depending on its size and the speed of the drive, it can take several hours. Once it's finished, it'll say scan complete. Since the USB flash drive I'm using is only 16 gigabytes, it took approximately 20 minutes. And here comes the fun part. You have to look for the specific files you deleted. On the left side of the screen, you will see some folders like photos and more files. And next to it, there's a number telling you how many files are inside each folder. I see seven photos and eight videos. I'm going to recover first the photos, just select the photos that you want to recover and click on recover. You'll get to this screen saying that since you got the free trial, you can only recover 10 files. And if you want to recover more files, you need to buy the ultimate edition for one month. If you think you're only going to use it one time, if you think you may need it in the future, Consider buying the one-year license or the lifetime license. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you the free trial version and you'll see that it works just fine. But remember, you can only record 10 files. I have 6 out of 10 files selected and I'm going to click on recover. Now, I can select the desired location where I want to save the recovered files. I'm going to save them under my local disk drive C and under users and click on recover. Now this part shouldn't take that long. Now here's the picture I deleted earlier. Now I'm going to recover the other two video files. So I'm going to head to the video folder and select the videos I want to recover. For some reason, I see that they are duplicated. So I'm just going to select these two and click on recover. 
And just like before, I'm going to save them under my drive C and under users. All right, here they are. I'm going to play the first video. It plays perfectly. And now I'm going to play the Fortnite gameplay. And as you can see, it works just as good as before I deleted them. They are not corrupted. By the way, this is my computer setup. And if you want to learn how to do something similar to this and be able to play games like Fortnite in three monitors, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to do that. And when it's ready, I'll have the link in the description box below. And this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found all this information useful. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more future videos like this one. I would like to mention that I have more videos like how to install Windows 10 or how to build your own gaming PC, as well as how to screen mirror your phone to the TV. I will have all these videos linked right here on the screen. All right, once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.